You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. On the news rescued a child The crowd applauds with her reward Giving simple people high esteem Of all the great accomplishments we make Nothing can compare To your great name You're my hero Hey, hey, what's up, family? We're back. Happy Monday. It's me, your friend, Batman, one of the super friends, 
We're back. Hope you had a great Monday, everybody. But thank you, thank you for joining us and welcome to Positive Power 21.org Christian Media. And you're listening to Late Night Re- Late Night Radio with Jerry Woods Live, aka Batman. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm your host, Jerry Rose Live Worldwide, and we all need to be lifted up and encouraged at all times. The Bible is a great source for encouragement. The Bible is the living word of God and it feeds us through the promises of God found in Scripture. Philippians 4, 4, 7 reads, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice and let everyone see that you are unselfish and considering all you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. Because if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand His peace. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said to her, I'm the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Lord, I thank you for the positive power, Double XL family and fans. I thank you for them all. I thank you for everything they are, for all their gifts and talents. I thank you for the many things that they have given to others, for all the kindness that they have shown me. Lord, at the beginning of time, you ripped your life into creation. May you bring your life into them now, so that each step they take is filled with your faith. Each thought they think is filled with your hope, and each moment they live is filled with your love. May they fully know your life and fully live in your love this day and every day. Amen. Almighty God, I pray for my friends, family, and my neighbors. I ask you to bring healing to their bodies. I ask you to correct which needs correcting, heal which needs healing, touch which needs your divine touch. God, I ask you, would you give my friends, my families, and my neighbors a new season of vibrant health, energy, and enthusiasm in Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Don't forget about Total Life Changes, Dane F. Watson, home-based business and marketing with weight loss and health products. Establish a 16-year-old company. Check them out at lose5poundsin5days.info. Also, don't forget about Wealth Dad System. It can be your vehicle to success. Don't let others to set your height of your dreams. Aim high in the clouds as you want to go. Check out WealthDadSystems.com. 407-394-9819. All right, everybody, welcome to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Family. And before we bring my friend Kimmy Kim out, let me finish telling you about Total Life Changes. That's right. Lose five pounds in five days. Dot info. That's right. They got a new product out called NRG Lightning in Bottle. I tried that on Saturday. I cleaned out the garage. I cleaned out the storage. I loaded the dumpster. I loaded my Jeep up twice. And I cut the grass, which took an hour, which usually take longer than that. And I took my son school shopping. And then I drove two hours to go see my brother. And uh, where he live at? Kent County. That's right. All right. And then the next day, I got up and did three miles. That's right. And that was called NRG. Is that right? Yeah, NRG. It's for pure energy. All right, so I'm going to live in proof of that. Want to check it out? Go to wwwlose 5 pounds in 5 daysinfo All right, now make sure I put that in the, in the link. And again, don't forget about Wealth Dad. Also, we're going to be talking about Frank Chase's book shortly. I'll pull that up, and we'll talk about his book in a minute. Let me bring Kimmy Kim up, see what she got going on in the world. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kim. What's up, Kimmy, Kim? 
How you doing? Hello, Jerry Royce. How you doing? I'm awesome. How's the family? How's everybody? Everything good? All this well. All right. How is your family? We're good. I, I, I went over to, uh, I'm, I know you don't know Merlin that well, but I went across the Bay Bridge and to go see my brother. I haven't seen, I saw him at his, at his daughter's wedding, but that was like uh, July. So I hadn't had a chance to, you know, hang out with him and his wife for a while. So I'm being Jordan, um, took a little road trip. And then we shot up a little, <laughs> did some photography at the marina, shot some wildlife. I didn't shoot him, but, you know, did some photography. <laughs> Yeah, fun. It was relaxing. Yeah. Awesome. You deserve that break sometimes. You're you're a hard working man. You work hard. I know that was that was a, that was a long Saturday was a long day because I, I I told you uh, we had a dumpster. Our community ordered a dumpster every year, and, and this was pretty late. Normally they get it like June or July, and I guess everybody's complaining because people's away from vacation. So um, my wife said, "I, I went to I went to storage room, clean out, get rid of those mattresses and and all them TV boxes and." You know, I had all that stuff in there. And then she said, also, I want you to throw all those chairs away in the garage. Oh, I forgot to throw some chairs away. She told me off the deck. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> I ain't oh, had time well. for that because I had to cut the grass because I thought it. it was going to rain. You know, we've been getting all this rain in this area. Uh-huh. So anyway, I took the product that that Daynut sent me. Daynut sent me. I got your stuff, too. I got to try to get that in the mail. You got to drop me your, your um address, and I'll try to... I don't know when I'm gonna get to the post office. To be honest with you, you might have to. You might have to, you might have to <laughs> You're busy, mad. Yeah, we might have to just. I'm gonna forward your address to her. So put that in my inbox. I'm, she just gonna have to send you some stuff because I'm bad about going to the post office because they close early for one. Me too. You're not yeah. the only one. They either they're closed early or they close. Or they open up early. Yeah, I always go to that guy that got the uh, box, etc., or whatever, where you can get your PO box. I always go there to do stuff because he's open pretty late. Because the the uh, delivery people are always popping in and out with him, so normally I go some, most of the time I go over there to him. But uh, we'll see if she can, we can get her to drop ship me you something. Yeah, she sent a bunch of these uh, teas that you wanted to try. Here, go right here. See that everybody? Yeah, it's called Lasso Lasso Tea Instant TLC. This stuff supposed to help lose five pounds in five days. And Dana says she lost oh. uh, six pounds in five days. So that's that's good. I'm gonna Six give it a shot. I want that's to try. A, uh, hmm. That's a clothes a dress size. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna try it over the week. I'm not gonna try it during the week. I'm already still trying to get adjusted to my. Going to the bathroom. <laughs> well, not just that. I'm still trying to get used to my medication. I'm, you know, I've been on it for like maybe like five weeks, but it's, it's just been an adjustment period, man. Because one time I was taking it for three weeks. In the morning, it was just uh-huh. like, oh, man, it was just crazy. So then I started taking it at night, and it's been two weeks, which is working out a lot better. So I had to. Had to I had yeah, to, you didn't want to take too many of them. Yeah, I want to they take They can too definitely. Many. Yeah, interact. Definitely so, not be too good for you. Yeah, so I'm trying to just get used to, you know, try to get a little system going. You know, you know, yeah, some people say, yeah, you got, well, you know, once you find that diet, they stay with that one meal. It's like, oh man, who want to mm-hmm. eat egg whites every single day? <laughs> you know, that's not bad, but what do you eat every day? Mostly, I do. Um, I usually start my morning off with yogurt with a little granola in it, and maybe a half a cup of coffee to get started. And then, if I don't do that, if time is tight, I'll just run past Dunkin' Donuts and get a, a egg white on a flatbread. Okay. And um, maybe like a okay. small iced coffee. And that usually get me going. But some, I still sometimes get those headaches in the morning that I just can't shake. I wake up with that. Are you eating enough? I'm, I'm waking up with the headache. So I'm, I am probably probably need to do, I mean, that's after eating breakfast too. I, I don't know. I think it's the medicine. That's one of the sometimes side effects. Sometimes if you don't eat mind. enough, you can get a headache. You may not be eating enough. Yeah, but that's one of the side effects of the medication too is headaches. So, yeah, because I had some days when I had okay. like I had like I was at my sister in law house. She made she gave me I had like two or three eggs and uh, sausages and I still got had a headache. And I ended up walking, start off really shaky for the first mile. I mean, like, I don't even remember the first mile. <laughs> and after I started, I guess the blood started circulating. I was coming out of it. Then I was OK. Yeah, man, I'll tell you. Well, that's good that you're doing better. 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes it happens when I have like a day of like real heavy physical activity. You know, you can kind of feel a little drain the next day. It take you a little while to get going. But, you know, we all getting yeah. older now. You know, it's what it is. Yeah. Just pace ourselves. I understand because I was uh, Friday and Saturday. I was gone all day. And um, I'm still trying to recuperate. But it's a challenge, as you say, when you get wiser. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, I don't like that older. I know. I don't, I don't like that. Like then you have activity. You had activity over the weekend? Because I thought I seen you. I had an a... um, event. Yeah. I yeah. had an event that I went to a, a free concert at my church, and it was awesome. Right. I saw Donna Lawrence. Um, he was at our church. And then on Saturday, we had a Guns Down Praises Up um, hip hop with a little. Uh, R&B, gospel, slash, wonderful, praise, dancing, poetry, celebration. It yeah. Was fun. Yes. Were you the MC? Yes, yes. Well, you it was home. fun. Did you did cast that? It was bananas, as they say. Did you <laughs> cast that live? You we there? casted some of it on Facebook, but you know how Facebook has stipulations. You can only do so long. So, what you had to do? What? To do the entire thing? Man, I, I've done you know five to, hours on that oh. thing. It was longer than five hours. For some reason, hmm. yeah. So for some reason, uh, if you go past two hours, they um, say that this passes the Facebook policy. So really, you know. but um, there's a lot out there. It's on my Facebook page. We had yeah, a great time. Yeah, God Squad brought it to the table. Yeah, he brought it. Yeah, I want to see that. I figured he was there. Let me check that out. You know, it's funny because I've seen some people go, like, they've been, like, running full-length movies and stuff on Facebook Live. They don't even get in trouble. I don't know how they pull that off. I was watching movies one time. I was like, what? Oh, I remember that movie. Sitting there looking at it. No, I think them things are longer because I do five hours. Like, I broadcast that whole event. I know it did kind of messed up a couple of times. I had to reset it, which was good because that means you ain't have to sit through the whole thing to catch another artist. You know, I don't know. Facebook got its issues. Man. Yeah. We got to come up. I get with it. it. As long as we got these other but platforms. My goal, hmm? my goal next time is to um, hire like a uh, intern who does video, video um, recording. Yeah. Sometimes you can go to those um, yeah. community colleges get some interns. Yeah, because they're kind of cheap, too. Yeah. You probably could pay them like a $50, and they'll record it for you, high quality. Sometimes yeah. you don't have to pay them anything. Sometimes they'll use that as an hour, part yeah. of their hour to the graduate. Project. So yeah, I can't true. afford too much right now. So I'm, I'm still doing the peanut butter, you know. I understand. Eventually we will be. Then we will um, get blessed, and I know God is able because, you know, mm-hmm. you can do anything but fail. That's yeah. right. That's right. So true. So true. All right. Well, we, so got, we, we got a special guest tonight. Um, She was the, um, I was going to say album of the year. She was new artist of the year with Fred Newsom. Fred Newsom uh, had Newsom Awards this year, 22nd. And uh, she was the okay. winner. She won a citation from the governor. I think the governor gave her a citation, if I'm not mistaken. We'll, we'll get her to clarify that for us. And um, she uh, she she got a hit song out. I love that song. One of my favorite songs. You know, I'm starting to have a lot of favorite songs now. I remember one time, my wife used to try to make me play gospel music in the car. And I was like, huh? I don't like listening to, like, everybody singing at one time and first thing in the morning. You know, I just couldn't get with that. You know, it, it, was, uh-huh. it was like Morgan Station has like gospel all day on Sunday. And they have like, sound like a hundred people singing at one time. I just couldn't take it. Really? Yeah. I was like, gosh, I just don't like that music. Now I was like, you know, now we, you know, we get the contemporary side of it, which they don't play unless it's some um, mainstream artists, you know, which is not fair. Yeah. These people have some great music. I was trying to load my intro well, i guess i'm gonna have to work on that tomorrow so anyway i got some great news great news great news positive power What's double x size going to the next level i got a 30 minute podcast is going to be broadcasting on a, a christian radio network and television i'm going to be doing television live television uh 30 minute show we're going to be featuring new music and videos i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a co-host yet because um 
we can't stick to our time when <laughs> we all on the radio together. So I know I stick to my guns so, if it's when, just me. When is it? It's like a TV or is it radio? It's going to be just or? like I'm doing that on Facebook Live, except for it to be on a, a television network. So in other words, you'll get a chance to I'm see me on know. camera like now. But I'm going to introduce music videos, uh, indie artists, new mainstream videos too. So I'll be doing in, mainstream and indie. So, uh, and, wow. and the good news is I got to talk to Nina Taylor too and um, see if I'll be able to run her. Because she always do the top tens and stuff. So I might have to talk to her, see if I could run her mm-hmm. as a segment also. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So we're going to the next level. Um, The, the viewership is supposed to be around $160 million. Uh, on the TV side, on the radio side, it's supposed to be $130 million. And um, they all they track by Google Analytics and Alexis. So it's a great company, Christian, all Christian material. Um, So we're excited about that. So that should be happening. Well, they... The engineer sent me some information. I may be able to start this week. So I'm off tomorrow, so I might even do a show tomorrow just to, to get ready, get warmed up, you know? Yeah. And Congratulations. Thank you. And also, um, my, my other team, Happy Hour Pastor Jack, I think they're going to be moving to the platform too. Yeah. So they, that's a real great show. I'm not sure if you ever got a chance to listen to them, but that's a really good show. There's four of them. And they, um, it's, it's almost like listening to Steve Harvey in the morning, but it's, you know, it's Christian. They cover, they talk about, uh, you know, the HBCU schools, um, what's going on in the White House and politics and, and, uh, you know, concerns. Cause, Cause at one time they started, he started off with just doing Bible stuff. And now he's, he's more like almost like a, a morning show, but it's at night. Great show. But people enjoy okay. it. Yeah, it's really catching fire right now. So I, you know, I said, look, guys, you guys are really good. I said, I need to get on a bigger platform than just Facebook, you know, without, I mean, of course, we, you know, we put money on it. You, you know, you can hit anywhere between 300, 800,000 people, but it's like you want, we want to build like a fan base, you know, with those people. Yeah, I know we can with that, with Facebook Live, but with the restrictions of how many friends you can have, it doesn't really help. <laughs> so every day you got to be putting right. money out there. And then the people be like, well, where are you? We're on Spricker Radio, and I noticed that iTunes been picking up steam. We we seeing up like eight hundred thousand people listening to us out there, so iTunes is really picking up steam. So that's that's a good thing. That's and they listen to all the shows. That's your people. That's Tina, her people, and um, Michelle, her show. So all those shows are picking up great steam, and and I know um, Happy Hour Pastor Jack. They do really well on on the iTunes app. So everything looking good. God is good, y'all. We we just been so faithful, Kimmy Kim. Yes, when yeah. you're faithful, He will bless it. Because when you're faithful over a few things, that's right. He'll add more. But it's God. It's all that's God, right. and we're good. spreading the good news, and we're uh, demonstrating how much fun you can have in the Lord. That's right. And it's just been an amazing, amazing time. It is. It is. I do appreciate you. Thank sharing you. your platform with me. <laughs> we appreciate you too. You know, it takes a family to do what we're doing. It can't be one person. But quick shout out. Quick right. shout out to my nephew, Philip Berrien is out there. Shout out to Miguel. That's my man right there. Miguel from Seattle, Washington, a Christian rapper. He's out there today and love his music. And um, Daynette Watson, our sponsor, is out there tonight. And uh, we appreciate her, too. So we were just talking about her product, how I was able to get so much stuff done. I wanted to take some Sunday, <laughs> but I couldn't find a pill. I was like, she only gave me one. I'm going to get her. She gave me one super pill. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm a, I know I'm, a, I'm, I'm definitely sold on the super pill. That's what I call it. NRG, pure energy. Man, I wonder how I'm going to do if I take that at work. <laughs> if I, be the, mm-hmm. I used to do like 30 cases a day. When I used to take energy drinks, <laughs> but then I had to come off of that stuff. It got dangerous. <laughs> I only could do like six. <laughs> and one wow. of my friends, he he's like he be rolling too, but he be drinking like four Pepsi. He's just like, man, you gonna be you gonna be messed up, dude. You better slow down. So he said he trying to come off. It's hard coming off Pepsi. With that, there's some, something about that flavor. How you get off of Pepsi? You know, it's kind of hard for me. <laughs> it is but- hard. If I do buy a, pep- a Pepsi, it takes me probably like a whole week to. I still got this one Pepsi that I got last week, and I still haven't done the entirety. So it's kind of hard to actually do an entire 
sold out for me, but I still love my Diet Cokes and Pepsi. Oh, you like Diet Coke and Pepsi? Yeah, I do Diet Coke. Uh-huh. Hmm. It's that, I don't like it. I don't like the regular because it's so sweet, but it's that fizz I just love. <laughs> yeah, no. that fizz. Yeah, that hard fizz, that carbon. Mm. Um, but, you know, yeah. I was able I to. It's a I'm way not, um, to, to kind of win your way off. You know, they, they have some really good sparkling um, water flavored water out there that's really strong. You know, mm-hmm. the, is that Wegmans? Wegmans have it. And the um, only thing, it kind of gasses you up a little bit. But that stuff can kind of give you, you know, like, you know, a lot of people like when they dr- eat red meat and something greasy, they want to have like, you know, something carbonated. It kind of, you know, I guess break it down. That, that sparkling water, not bad. I'm a, at the point that I even but drink. How often do you? Hmm? Good question. How often do you walk? I see you walking. Yeah, walk. I walk almost every day. Yeah, I do three you miles. Walking almost, now? No, I'm talking to you right now. I'm on the air. <laughs> okay. I I'm okay, just making sure, like, how are you walking in on the air? No, no. When I, <laughs> I tell you on my page, like, you're doing a five minute. Yeah, I did the. Five, yeah, I did that earlier today. I did that earlier. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I did. You make me look bad. Yeah, I did my three miles early. Stop it. I did it yesterday, <laughs> and I did it. Be, well, Saturday I did three miles, but that that was why I was cutting the grass because it's actually it's three miles for me to complete my grass. It's actually three miles is weird. <laughs> it's only like a quarter. Well, how do you get the motivation to do it every day? I need that motivation. Cause one thing, it does make me feel a lot better, you know. Especially because I came home and laid down for only thirty minutes, which wasn't really much time. Cause I had to take a phone call, but uh, it never happened. But I still was able to get out. Plus, the weather wasn't that bad, you know. It was a little humid today, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I, and plus, I'll be doing stuff while I'm walking. I actually, I'll be listening to the podcast, and I'll be. <laughs> posting and then i call people so like that whole 40 minutes i can take care of a whole bunch of stuff yeah only wow. when i'm walking outside though when i'm indoor on the indoor track i'm limited to just posting so most of the time i'm just building some stuff like event pages like trying to catch up with the the bookings like we booking guests 30 minute shows now so we're gonna be having actually we're supposed to have um two guests on the night but uh, one of them, she had uh-huh. death in the family, and she had to go back to the Philippines. So hopefully we'll be able to get her on. So her song is really beautiful, too. And speaking of music, all right, I guess we better get started with um with our, with our guest, Joanna. Joanna Connor is here. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to ahead and open up the show with her song. Let me see where did I put it at. Cause nobody, put, nobody tags their songs these, these days. <laughs> I don't know where I put it at. <laughs> Now everybody send them to you with a MP3. That's the, you know what? I don't know when the last time I asked you about this book CD. Um, but after that, I don't know when was the last time I purchased a CD. I get music email now. Yeah, I know. You know <laughs> or what? get it from YouTube. I got, yeah. her, I got her song right here, though. I'm, I'm just going to just pull it back in. It's, it's, people are just going to have to hear it again. All right, here we go. I found it. All right, here we go. This is her big hit. This one is called Follow Your Sunshine. And uh, we're listening to Juwana Connor. Next voice you hear will be Juwana Connor. Here we go. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.
listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. This is Brandon Royce, and you're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on PositivePower21.org. That's right. You tell them, son, you're listening to Double XI. That's right. Positive Power. Double XI in Owings Mills, Maryland, and Eastern Maryland. That's right. The New Hamptons. All right, everybody. We're we about to bring on Juana Connor. That was her hit song. It's called Follow Your Sunshine. Awesome, awesome. And she was uh, the winner, uh, new artist, winner of the Newsome Award. It was held in Baltimore. I think it was last month. And I was, it was a pleasure to meet her. And she's here in the Maryland area now from New Jersey. So we're about to bring out. Let me read a bio real quick. Hold tight. All right, Jawana Connor. Her bio reads, I am Jawana Connor. I am 38 years old. I am the wife to Jamal Connor and a mother to four children. I have been singing since I was about five years old. I am a songwriter as well. I have a bachelor's in liberal studies. I also have a certificate in early childhood. I currently work as an administrative assistant at Positive Steps. I am a PRP worker there where I give psychiatric re- rehabilitation services. I am currently working on my first project. I attend Omega Baptist Church where I sing on the praise team with Pastor Jason Clark. Jason Clark, I heard that name before. All right. So she's living here in the Baltimore area now from New Jersey. So let's bring her on. Okay, hold tight, y'all. I got all these controls. All right, you back too, Kimmy? You back, Kimmy, right? I am back. All right. What's up? What's up, Joanna? How you doing? Hey, how are you? Awesome. We got Kimmy Kim with us tonight. My how mom. are you doing, Kimmy? How you I'm fine. How about you? I, I love that good. song that was just played. I know. Awesome. I love Thank that song. You. I'm going to tell you, when I was at the Newsome War, they were doing rehearsal. You know, sometimes I don't really pay nobody no mind when they rehearse. I'm just checking sound <laughs> and make sure I got it right. When I heard her, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I got a winner here. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. That is, whew, that's, a, that's a nice song. Now, do you have any more of those in you? Any more of those songs? You say anymore? I mean, oh yeah, I have plenty of songs, plenty, plenty of songs. So, you, I think the last time we talked, you told me you were you were in the studio in Jersey. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm in New Jersey now. I'm at my mom's house in New Jersey. Um, uh, my cousin's studio was out here, so I came out here, you know, to come down and visit family. You know, every once in a while, I try to jump in there. You know, if he's not busy, but um, yeah, we you know we have scheduled time where we meet and. You know, we work on our songs. So we got about two more songs left, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, cool. All right, well, we're going to talk more about yeah. it. But the first question for you is, who is Jawana Connor? Who is she? Well, it's a lot to Jawana Connor, but um, I would say, you know, my main job is, is definitely being a wife and a mother. Um, I've been doing that for years, you know, make, making sure that my children. Um, you saw one of my daughters. She was one of the dancers. Um, she's a ballerina, so she goes to Baltimore School for the Arts in the Twix program. Oh. Um, and also my oldest daughter, you didn't get the chance to meet her yet. Uh, we couldn't bring our band. She plays, she's my keyboardist and she's also a, a drummer. Oh, wow. She's a junior at the Baltimore School for the Arts. Awesome. Wow, um, cool. and then I have a daughter at Western and then I have a son, um, my son and my baby girl, they go to Hamilton Elementary School. All right. So, and you know, of course my husband, he tries to keep us all together. He's always working, you know. And just doing what he has to do for the family. So my family's always been first. So yeah. that's, that's my blessing. first ministry. That's a blessing right there. God is good. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. She, <laughs> them dancers did a great job. I'm sorry I couldn't get them on film. They were a little too low. Yeah. <laughs> it was too many people standing. That's right, because you made everybody stand up. That's right. That was your fault. <laughs> did I make them all stand up? <laughs> yeah, you made everybody stand up. Everybody, well, they couldn't help it once that beat started dropping. <laughs> You know, it was like had that little Caribbean sound to it. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. My uh, my cousin, you know, his name is James Minor. He he was the producer. Um, he basically has been producing basically most of my music since I was eighteen. Um, but he he, you know, that was one of his newest ones. And we got in the studio, and I was like, I like this. You know, I was mm-hmm. like, I really like this. You know, I'm a church girl, church girl. So you know, you get that Pentecostal shouting beat. You know, yeah, yeah. But um. I like that. You know, I like the little dance beat. You know, people can get up and move around and clap and feel mm-hmm. free, you know. That's right. There's nothing wrong with that. Because I'm hearing, you know, people looking at opening up Christian 
clubs now where you can mingle and yeah. get some good food and listen to some great music and see live entertainment. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people just don't want to sit there and listen to no. you know, the traditional stuff all the time, especially the young people, you know. And Christian rap right, is really right, taking right. off. Christian rap is doing really well right now. So I'm just glad yeah. those guys are going to another level now, you know. That's yep. awesome. God is good. He's moving us. He's moving us. He's going to save the world. And now we just got to yeah. get your we got to get your music to uh, number forty five so he can slow it down a little bit. <laughs> get okay. It to, get it to him. All right. Well, maybe one day he <laughs> might he might tune into this podcast. Who knows? All right. Well, we appreciate that. So basically, uh, we don't have a, a a guest coming up at ten o'clock. So you welcome to hang around with me and Kimmy Kim, and, and you know we got some other new music to play. But we got we know we got one more song f- for you to play. But before we play mm-hmm. that, Kimmy, you got a question for um, Joanna? Absolutely, my sister. Um, you have a beautiful spirit, and thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to fellowship being with you and also um, Jerry. Thank you, thank you so much for have, having me on your show. My first question is, um, what, inspired, what inspires you to write music? And from that inspiration, when you say that it helps you when it comes to telling a story or your testimony? Yeah, um, it's it's a, it's a lot of different ways. You know how people kind of, it's not, to me, it's not one formula. Um, but the one thing that I started to notice is, you know, I started writing when I was 18. Um, and it, my journey was a lot different from a lot of other people's. Um, you know, I had, you know, God just, you know, his time for me was I had to wait, you know. So it started out just kind of like, you know, with just me just writing and just singing. And, and I was always in the studio, just, you know, laying down tracks and just making music. But as I gotten older, you know, uh, I noticed that God started giving me songs in my sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would always be like around 3 o'clock in the morning, somewhere around there, and I would just have my <laughs> my cell phone. <laughs> it would be by the bed, and I just would be like lazy some nights. I'm like, oh, God, you know, I'm tired. i got to get up and go to work in the morning. And I would be like, oh, I'm going to remember it. I'm going to remember it. And then I would wake up in the morning and we could not remember the song, Ooh. and I would be so frustrated because it would be <laughs> such a good song, like, Ooh. you know. I'm like, I lost another one. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. So I just started having the habit of having my uh, cell phone by the bed. And I would just, every time God would give me a song in the middle of the night, I would just wake up. And a lot of times he would just give me like a, maybe like the hook, mm. you know, he would just give me like the hook to the song. And I'm like, okay, God, I'm going to record that. And it's funny because my daughter is a musician. So like, you know, I would wow. be, uh, yeah. I would like, uh, her name is Camille. I'm like, Camille, listen to this. You know, I recorded this last night. And she was like, Mom, you sound like, like a bass. I'm like, yeah, that's because I was like 3, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to record a song. <laughs> so we laugh, wow. but, you know, he kind of gives me this the hook, you know, and then I just just develop it from the hook. Yeah. So, okay. you know, that's okay. one way that I do it. Sometimes it'll just, like I say, he'll just give it to me. And then um, other times it'll be like an experience in life, you know, where you just kind of get this idea and you're like, you know what, I think this song can probably help somebody, you know, um, yeah. You know, just help them, you know? Yeah, that's right. Now, um, the, with social media being as powerful as it is now, it's becoming mainstream. That's all people mm-hmm. do. You know, if you gave everybody an opportunity, they would, they would they'd probably get on social media while they're watching a the movie at the theater <laughs> if they let them. Um, how important is it to you right now, social media? Well, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm kind of still like kind of in the middle somewhere, kind of like old school, new school type thing. Um so for me, it's something that's still growing on me because, you know, um, coming up in a Pentecostal church, you know, we were kind of like made to sing, you know, they made, even though I loved it, so it wasn't, it wasn't hard for me. So I'm more like a hands-on type singer. Um, I love ministry. You know, I've been, like I said, singing and praising worship teams for years, um, you know, being praise and worship leaders for years. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm kind of making an adjustment, you know, to how God, you know, how things are moving. So, you know, it's, I like, I like it both. You know, I like to be able to, to minister in church and like to be able to post and, you know, so people can hear what God is doing. You know, I know that's like the way, you know, things are moving. So, you know, you have to kind of move with the time. So mm-hmm. I understand that. So, you know, I'm working on, you know, posting more, uh, cause I sing every Sunday. So I'm going to try to get my daughter, you know, to post some more, some of the praise and worship, you know, so they can see what I'm doing. Um, but you'll see, you know, you'll see a whole lot more being posted. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm still, I have to admit, I'm still kind of old school with and like, you know, 
you know, we sing in church and we minister and we kind of do what God, you know, was doing it in the, in the house, but I'm coming out of the house, <laughs> you know, cause I don't want to be, you know, stuck in the four walls either. So that's right. That's right. All right. Thank you. All right. Kim, you, you want to ask one more question before we play her next song? Kim, are you there? All right. Kimmy must be taking care of the kids right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had another question for you. During the, during the event, you mentioned um, that you were doing background singing with uh, one of the artists that was sit, sitting out there in the audience. Um, what, mm-hmm. what, what's, what's your role with her? And who um, is well, she? Her name is Milani Jackson. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually met her when I moved to Baltimore. Um, and we just kind of like clicked. You know, she's, she's uh, been in the game for a while. You know, and um, I came out, you know, and I'm like, listen, I, I don't have any, you know, it's, it's, I love to sing, period. So, you know, she does shows. I come out, I sing the soprano, you know, I have to hold the soprano part down for her. Mm-hmm. You know, and we just, we collaborate. Wow, wow. So do you get a chance yeah, to do I, some I, of your stuff? You know, stuff? I, I don't have any, you know, I, I'm a lead singer. I don't mind doing background. You know, I'm not yeah, like yeah. that. That's right. And it gives you experience, too, at the same time. Mm-hmm. You get a chance to watch the good and the bad. And... Be saying, yeah. you know, you never know who's watching. Awesome. Exactly. All right. Well, Kimmy probably taking care of the kids right now. Let's go ahead and um, play your second song you sent us. What's the title of this song? Is it called Tell Today? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. All yes. right. Here we go. You are listening to Junior Slide Worldwide Podcast. Yeah. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your Gospel News. Known for her dynamic, inspiring, and anointed ministry, Martha Munizzi is an internationally acclaimed singer, songwriter, speaker, and one of our nation's most popular worship leaders. Martha's musical journey began at the age of eight when she started singing with her family in concerts and crusades around the U.S. and Canada. As a teenager, Martha's vocal skills and songwriting ability became evident, and it soon became clear that God was birthing in her a desire to lead others into his presence. Martha sensed that God was moving her into the next phase of ministry, and now the powerhouse vocalist leads thousands in worship at concerts, conferences, and churches around the world. Martha has also ministered with many powerful ministries, including Pastor Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar, Benny Hinn, Cece Winans, Bishop T.D. Jakes, and she has also appeared on TVN's Praise the Lord, Daystar, Life Today with James Robeson, and most recently on BET Gospel. With his soulful tenor vocals and ability to fuse contemporary gospel with hip-hop and traditional, Smokey Norfolk is one of the brightest lights on the current gospel scene. The son of an African Methodist Episcopal minister, Smokey Norfolk spent his first 14 years in Muskogee, Oklahoma, where he absorbed music ranging from sacred gospel to the secular soul, and both would serve him well when he began his professional singing career. By the age of two, he was picking out melodies on the piano, by the age of four, he was actively playing and singing in his father's church. He studied history at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. He then relocated to Chicago in 1998 and earned a Master's of Divinity degree at Garrett Theological Seminary. His debut solo album, I Need You Now, was released by Sherlock in 2002, followed by a live album called Limited Edition from EMI. In 2003, Norfolk has characterized his music as urban inspirational, a term that allows him to stretch the boundaries of traditional gospel while still remaining true to its purpose. Currently, he is the pastor of Victory Cathedral Worship Center of Bowling Brook, Illinois, since 2005. Then in 2008, he launched a second campus on the south side of Chicago. Since its launch, he has witnessed a similar dynamic growth and a phenomenal move of God. Dr. Maddie Moss Clark was a gospel choir director for most of her life and is often credited as one of the first to teach three-part harmony to a choir. Born in 1925 in Selma, Alabama, Clark relocated to Detroit in 1958. She organized the Southwest Michigan State Choir of the Church of God in Christ. In addition to being a songwriter, vocalist, pianist, arranger, and choir director, Clark was also president of the National Music Department of the Church of God in Christ for 25 years. She founded the Clark Conservatory School of Music in Detroit. Over the years, Clark recorded with such artists as James Moore, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Elder James Lennox, Reverend Richard Mr. Clean White, and many more. She's also credited with launching the careers of Walter Hawkins, Hezekiah Walker, and Richard Smallwood. Clark recorded more than 35 albums during her career and was one of the first gospel artists to receive a gold-certified album. She passed at the age of 69 in Southfield, Michigan. People are always fascinated to learn what is taking place in churches around America. When visiting other churches and listening to the music as they worship together and wondering what do churches typically sing during their worship services. CCLI, the largest licensor of music for churches, has compiled a top 10 list of songs sang most in worship services across America. Number 10, In Christ Alone. Number 9, Jesus Messiah. Number 8, Amazing Grace. Number 7, Everlasting God. Number 6, Revelation Song. Number 5, Here I Am to Worship. Number Number four, blessed be your name. Number three, our God. Number two, mighty to serve. And the number one most sang song is how great is our God. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Gospel Songs in the Country. Number 10, Ty Tribbett, Work It Out. Number 9, Troy Sneed, Kept by His Grace. Number 8, Anthony Browning Group Therapy, Trust in You. Number 7, J.J. Harrison, Youthful Praise, You Deserve It. Number 6, Dietrich Haddon, Hill City Worship Camp, A Billion People. Number 5, Brian Poppin, I Got Out. Number 4, Kirk Franklin, My World Needs You. Number 3, Todd Delaney, Victory Belongs to Jesus. Number 2, Sean Mitchell, With Joy. And number one for five weeks in a row, Tamala Man with Change Me. That's your Billboard Top 10 songs, your top 10 most sang worship songs, and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. 
Listening to Positive Power 21.org with Jerry Royce. You're only defeated when you accept what the naysayers tell you without working on your flaws. Once your flaws are corrected, you must continue after your dreams. The greatness with us all will never come out in an unpressurized environment. What we seek in our dreams must be fought for in reality. Wealth Dad System provides the common individual with a way to burst from the norm into the unmeasurable. Call for more information at 407-459-4827. 407-459-4827. Visit a life-changing website at www.wealthdadsystem.com. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double XI. That's right, y'all. You tell them, Jerry Royce. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're talking to Jawana Connor out of the Baltimore area. That's right. New Artist of the Year at the Newsom Award this year. We had a chance to meet her. Wish we had gotten her on camera, but she was bringing out of there. Guess you can't have the kids can't hang too long. You gotta get them home real quick. They get hungry. So um it was all good. But we, we'll meet up with her again. Um, speaking of events, we're going to be at the CD release party for Michael Tornado 418. That's right. On Friday, being hosted by, you know, J. Nicole Jones. You know her out there in PA, Fox Sports, uh, Echoes of Glory 1480 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. She's going to be the host. And she just hit us up. She said she can't wait to see us because she won't be on camera. That's what it was. That's what it is. She always called me when she's. When she won't be on camera. That's right. I'm calling you out, Jay. So anyway, we're going to be there on Friday. I think the event is actually two days, but we'll be there on Friday, Positive Power Double XI. And then um, I think Anthony Avery may be there to perform. You guys know him. I got to hit him up and see if he's going to be there. Because, you know, he has a brand new song called Fairy Tales. And he's going to be releasing his album, I believe, September 28th, if I'm not mistaken. We'll get that confirmed. But Jay Nicole, no, my bad. Jay Nicole has an event coming up. What day did she tell me? 23rd. We're going to be in Pennsylvania um, filming her uh, live gospel event. It's going to be big, too. She's going to have Wes Morgan, his headlining the event. So you guys know him from the Tyler Perry organization. So this, this is going to be a big event. We're looking forward to it. So all hands be on deck. All right. You guys know I've been doing road trips. I was just in Kent County. Then I went over to the New Hamptons in Talbot County. And we were just chilling, enjoying some good food and relaxing. And I'm, I did some photography. That's right. I'm going to start putting this stuff on my website. That's right. I'm going to show it to the world. And speaking of the world, in about another week or two, we're going to be moving to another platform. It's a much bigger platform. Jerry Bush Live think he's ready for it. 30-minute show. It's right. going to be uh, shown in over 150 countries. It's going to be a TV and radio show. Pretty similar to what we're doing here on Facebook Live. So we hope you guys be part of that. We'll let you know where it's going to be so you can support that. Anybody out there looking for exposure, because this organization, this network is 160 million viewers. So if you're looking to uh, get some exposure for your music, your CDs, your books, hit us up. We have really, really good rates. Um, you, it's unbelievable. It's actually seventy percent off right now. So if you're looking to get some exposure for your radio station, your TV show, whatever you got, hit us up in boxes and we find out how you can become part of it. And speaking of our sponsors, Total Life Changes. That's right, Daynet Watson. You can get her at Lose Five Pounds in Five Days. Info, and she's marketing Lightning in a Bottle. That's right, NRG is Pure Energy. That's right, all natural. And also, she's also marketing. A product to help you lose five pounds, five pounds in five days, and that's uh, a tea. And the tea is right here. If you're looking at me on Facebook Live, it's a tea called uh, Lasso Tea. So I'm gonna make sure you get yours in the mail. Okay, uh, Kimmy Kim. Sorry about that. Amen. <laughs> All right, he talking to Joanna Connor. All right, so Kimmy's back. She was on mute while we. She was talking to us, but she was on mute. <laughs> So, I was talking with the mute button. Oh, you talking with the oh, okay. I didn't even see you. <laughs> I was like, I'm here. I don't look <laughs> so right you didn't hear me, Kim. Duh. Uh, <laughs> you got a question? Oh, my goodness. You got a question for Kimmy? 
Really? I do. Oh, really? uh, my question is, like, who would you consider as one of your mentors? Or do you wow. have any? Um, one of my mentors my, would definitely be my mother, um, who uh, basically has always been so supportive. Um, I post a picture of my parents on Facebook, and I was saying that, you know, they have always been my first cheerleaders. Um, they were the type of parents that came to everything. <laughs> So, you know, everything that I did, you know, my mom was support, and she was one of those supporters that, you know, she she was a tough one, you know what I mean? She made sure that, you know, I would always keep going, you know, so I definitely um, have to honor her because if it had not been for her pushing me in life, you know, sometimes you get stuck in storms and things, but I just thank her for pushing me, so she definitely was definitely my first mentor. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I had pastors, uh, you know, I had uh, Dr. Gina, uh, from Jersey, who, you know, where I did my first, the first church where I was the praise and worship leader. I was there for seven years. And um, that's where I just basically learned how to lead, you know, how to lead a team, how to direct, you know, teaching parts and things like that. She just was basically a mentor to, you know, kind of pull me out of my shell. So I had so many, I can probably go on and on, but definitely those two. Yeah, that's awesome. I know that's pretty challenging. Awesome. That's a big job when you're young and you're directing people with experience. People have been on the choir right. forever. So where you, where you get your training? <laughs> Is it like a development program you go to for something like that? No. It's just basically this, this is all church. I'm job. just got to keep it real with you. There was no training. Like <laughs> It was just, you know, you get out there, you, you learn, you hear, you listen, you, you know, and God gives you the gifts. You know, you already have the gifts, but you just have to, to develop it. And um, when you're in church and you're in church and you're always singing and it's several times a week and, you know, you're learning how to teach people parts and you're hearing parts, it just comes, you know. Mm -hmm. So then you just have to learn that you have the, the ability to do it and kind of come out your comfort zone and, and you know, go, go with it. That's right. <laughs> On a job training. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kim, you got another question for Kimmy? Yes. And, um, uh, I love your music. That song was just uplifting. And um, I have another question. Um, when it comes to writing, would you consider that as one of your passions and your purpose? And if so, how long did you know? Um, when was it revealed to you? Because sometimes your uh, passion is revealed to you at an early age or God may give it to you like a Sarah. So right. that would be my question. Um, well, the passion to sing was in me since my, well, my mother used to always tell me this. It was kind of a funny joke that we had. She said that, uh, my brother and I were sitting in the kitchen and I was two and he was four and we were singing a duet, you know, and, um, my mom said that I told him that he was singing the wrong part. <laughs> so that was it too. Wow. Of course, I don't remember. <laughs> but <laughs> so just from you know, from I can remember like being around five. Just I mean, when I tell you, I just love to sing. It, it was never, it was never anything in my mind that would tell me I was going to do anything different. You know, of course, as I got older, you know, became educated. There was other things that God wanted me to do. You know, <laughs> but uh, singing was always a passion of mine, and um. I just like to sing in church and to see how people, you know, will react to it and to see that, okay, God didn't really play something inside of me. You know, so as I got in around 18 is where I started to write. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't remember where that came from. It just kind of like came out and I started to write. Um, and then I noticed that I had a gift to write. I didn't notice that I had to gift to write, you know, at first. Um, so then when I started writing, I remember my husband was telling me, he was like, you know, you really need to start doing some of your music. Because, you know, I would do stuff, but I would do other people's music. And he was like, I listened to your, your, I listened to your music at the words that you actually put together. He was like, you're an excellent writer. So it was just, you know, as I started writing, and, and I told you, as God started giving me just like the snippets of the song, <laughs> he would never give me like the whole song, just like the little snippet of the song. And then I, I yeah. just started, you know, I would just start adding to it, you know. So <laughs> that's basically how it, how it happened. And I know it came from God because it wasn't something that I thought that I could do. Mm. Wow. Wow. That's town. So now I'm just like, sometimes I'm just like, oh, I got another one. Oh, I got another one. So now I'm just kind of like rolls, you know, rolls out. So mm -hmm. I'm like, it's, it, I'm, I'm very grateful that he would trust me, you know, with the gifts. Because you pays. have to be very careful, yeah. you know. It's good that you have a cousin that has a studio. 
I'm sure he's giving you some kind yeah. of family <laughs> discount. Yeah, that does yeah. help. Yeah, yeah. It, you, you are so right. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, I remember awesome. that day when I had my little band. And, you know, it's funny, when you get older, you know, you remember those days when you had so much fun developing, you know, your own style and everything. And, and my daughter picked mm-hmm. up the guitar and the drums and the keyboard. Keyboard was really her thing. She still plays now. But I had her in all those classes. Plus, she sings. And she just told us that she's going to join the, um, the gospel choir at her school. We was really happy about that. It was yeah. Like really exciting. Yeah, because yeah, they don't really use them at the church for some reason, the kids, even though... They have a lot of kids that belong to the gifting and talent. A lot of them go to Carver and Subbrook, and they don't use them. Okay. I didn't understand. Wow. I always thought that's how you build a, a strong, powerful church ministry when you have the kids performing. I love watching Oh, the kids definitely. Because, you know, back in the day, we didn't have a choice. You, you, whether yeah. you wanted to do it or not, you was going to be used. Yeah. So, that's right. <laughs> you know, the kids, would, the kids would cry. You know what I mean? They'd be, they'd be up there crying, and then, you know, you would get in trouble if you didn't mm-hmm. sing. But now, so it was like you get up there. <laughs> but now they want to perform because that's what they go to school for, you know. Yeah. So they don't have that mm-hmm. many op- op- opportunities. So I'm gonna I'm suggest that to the church because uh, they yeah. already he, already, he has idea. them sitting in the church already two days out of the month. So he should let them perform. And then some of them are yeah. great are great dancers. And I mean, I know some people say, "Oh, you don't go to church for entertainment," but sometimes you know it's good to see God's gifts, the talents that He's blessed people with. You know, yes. instead of yes. sitting up there, you know, listening to the same people every week. Right. You know, they change it up sometime. You know, you'd be wondering why people come only one or t- once or twice a month. That's why you got to change it up. You know, they're going to go somewhere else. Right. You know, that's what's going to happen. That's true. And then at the same time, they don't realize what they're de- You don't realize what you're developing in that person. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, you know, the yeah. years down the line, you see, you know, why they had to do what, you know, what they had to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people need creative opportunities, you know, to express themselves. All right. Well, oh, yeah, I want I want you to tell us about this song, the song uh, we just heard. Oh, okay, Till Today. Yeah, now that song has a, has, it has a lot of background to it. Um, now, I told you my cousin James Minor is my, he's my producer. Um, his wife, actually, Janine Minor, who is actually my cousin, you know, he's my cousin through marriage. Um she actually wrote that song, and she was just like, you know, I wrote this song, um, and the song basically is about it's about marriage, and it's about how, you know, you just go through different turns and changes in your marriage, and you just realize, like, you know, all the different things that you go through, but you realize that you, that person is really important to you. That's right. You know, and you, you, you think about, you know, the dark moments, and you think about, uh, you know, how you would feel without that person, and so that's basically how that, that song was developed. So she, you know, we came together and she was just like, this is the, these are the words. She was like, I need you to do. So I basically did all the vocal arrangements. I did all the background. Mm. And when we, when it came together, we just was like, wow, this is it. You know, so we basically wanted to, it was a real song to talk about like marriage and, you know, the things that we go through in marriage and relationships and how, you know, we feel and how we handle it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so many challenges in this world. You know, we need help. Yeah. We need some direction, y'all. And everybody don't have time to read a book. <laughs> so you put it in music. Well, audio. Audio book or something. I don't know. Right. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. We're going to take a quick music break. We got a lot of new music. So we want we want to hear your take on some of the music. You know, how you feel, what you heard. Okay. So we do okay. like music reviews. And, um, oh wow! You gonna put me on a spot like that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean you, you know, we'll be kind, you know. Yeah, we, we be no kind. Words. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's no yay or nay, you know. Like we're gonna play. Okay. I, I pretty much pick the ones I know I'm gonna carry on the show. All right, but before we okay. do that, let's hear Gospel Update with Larry Robinson. All right, yeah. Hi, I'm Larry W. Robinson, host of Gospel Updates, your gospel entertainment news report. And you're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Royce, live worldwide. Hi, this is Larry W. Robinson with your Gospel Entertainment News Report, brought to you this week by GospelUpdates.com, the Gospel Updates mobile app, as well as the Gospel Updates e-magazine. This week, I'm catching up with Michelle Brooks Thompson. 
from I was gonna say the voice uh, Michelle Brooks <laughs> Thompson, but um, uh, she was one of the contestants on The Voice, and she has a brand new single titled "I Am Triumphant," and I just love it. And so I wanted her to come on the broadcast to tell you all about it. Michelle Brooks Thompson, welcome to Gospel Updates. Thank you so much, Larry. I'm glad to be here with you. Bless you, my friend. All right, so you're triumphant. You want everybody else to be triumphant, and we're all triumphant. So tell us all about it. I do. Um, This song is a new worship single that I have released. And my hope really is for people everywhere to go and download this song when it becomes available and declare that they are triumphant that they are winners, that they are, they're not defeated, and they're victorious. And I think it's a message for now that people need to believe and people need to know that God has given them victory over every situation and over every trial in their life. All right, I love it. I am triumphant. Now, what's the, the, the drop date for that? August the what? The drop date is August the 15th. All right, August 15th. Go to all of your digital download stations and download I Am Triumphant. The name is Michelle Brooks Thompson. I Am Triumphant. It's going to be available at all digital download stations. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Mary. Bless you. This has been your Gospel Entertainment News Report. I'm your host, Larry W. Robinson. For more news, download my mobile app. Search Gospel Updates in your app store as well as visit gospelupdates.com.
You're only defeated when you accept what the naysayers tell you without working on your flaws. Once your flaws are corrected, you must continue after your dreams. The greatness with us all will never come out in an unpressurized environment. What we seek in our dreams must be fought for in reality. Wealth Dad System provides the common individual with a way to burst from the norm into the unmeasurable. Call for more information at 407-459-4827, 407-459-4827. Visit a life-changing website at www.wealthdadsystem.com. All right. Thank you, thank you. This is James DeShay, WealthDadSystem.com. You got an album coming out, a CD, and you need some promotion, come check us out. As you see, we just finished talking to Jeffrey Moore. We're partnering up with Praise Orlando, awesome global media organization. We we being part of that. So it's always good to partner, build partnerships. That's right, y'all. And um, you guys want to reach a, a global market, you know, check us out. All right, Positive Power, Double XI, Christian Media. You want to sell 100,000 CDs? You don't have to worry about working? <laughs> Just do music? Hey, God bless you with a gift. You got to promote it. You got to promote it. You got you to perform. You got to sell CDs. You got to do radio. You got to do all that stuff. But you got to put it out there so people can find it. All right, this is the place to be right here on Double XI. With Kimmy Kim. That's right, Ladies and Radio, Serenity Radio, Serenity Radio. I am a Superwoman Radio and cast from Survival Radio, Paula G and Joyce White, the Faith Walker, all here on Double XI. All right, we're talking to Joanna Connor, beautiful music. Hey, you like that? That that that's a uh, matter of fact. She's gonna be on here. Um, I think I think tomorrow. No, Wednesday. 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 Okay, cool. Yeah, Michelle. Uh, Thompson. I forgot her middle name. That quick. I had it right on the. You just said it too. Anyway, <laughs> see that's that's what happened when I don't have all my my whiteboard up. Let me go to my calendar real quick. I just want, I want everybody oh, to know because she's a, she's actually a, a Grammy. I think she's either a Stella Award or Grammy nominated artist. Amen. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah, her name is Michelle Brooks Thompson. She will be here on Wednesday at ten o'clock. Also, Mister Appointed from Spin Magazine will be here. What's she, what's she gonna get me, her man? I'm, I'm trying to figure out. All right, I'm gonna tell you, Juwan. I, I do call people out on this show. <laughs> it's because <my, laughs> my medicine about to wear off. But oh man, no, not the medicine. <laughs> Kimmy Kim, Kimmy oh. Kim, and Mister Pointed. They haven't had Jerry Bruce live in the magazine yet. Hey, I'm wondering what oh, I got. What I gotta do? What no, I gotta do to get on there? No, <laughs> that's not true. You are on my magazine. You just don't yeah. go. I Your podcast that. is on my magazine. I know. I'm, I'm talking about my mm-hmm. interview. I want to be interviewed on there. I want to talk to you. Well, I, Who going to interview Well, me? I've been wanting to uh, feature your business. You're so busy. That's not me. That's you. I could talk mm-hmm. to you while I'm on so my walk. So what I'll do, I got you. We're going to feature you in September. How about that? All right. See, see, see how I do them, Juwana? <laughs> I got to call them out see, get, he, get but, but, See, he put it on us. It's not me. <laughs> It's him. He knows he's always busy. He said you're busy. Surprised that? Yeah, he'd be on the go. He was doing like so many city tours the entire summer. Jerry Royce, you know. With Joanna. But Look, you know, as long as I got my Bluetooth on, right, I could talk. Right. Only time I don't think you can talk is on an airplane. Other than that, you could talk. <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
See how they be trying hey, to damage one? I got you. I was ready I for them. You. I'll be ready for her. I she said she going to set you up for next month, so yeah, you you, you already ready. I know. I got, I got Mr. Exactly. Appointed, See? too. And look, See how Mr. she does me? <laughs> and look, Mr. Appointed, <laughs> she got a, a super <laughs> duper magazine that actually has an award show that's going to be uh, October 28th. We're going to be flying out there for that. And, um, and she said on the air that I'm in the magazine now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't remember talking to anybody. <laughs> so anyway, she know I call you out. But anyway, we appreciate you being on here, um, Juwan. We want to know um, before we get out of here because we got a couple more minutes. Can you pray us out? You mind praying? Sure. All right. Sure. Just, since you're the praise and worship leader, <laughs> you gotta pray for <laughs> me. Kim, you gotta pray for me and Kim and Kim specifically, and the Double XL right. family. And before we do that, oh, you know you. No matter what, you might you might mentor you're my friend so be quiet now don't make me have to come to maryland you know st louis you know we believe in we we're like the show me state so yeah come on back <laughs> come on back all right before you do that i'm just going to shout out to a few people sheila moore piper thank you for tuning in and cotton cotton used to be on the show with me on friday nights but she uh dumped us for uh to do her poetry stuff <laughs> that's right i called y'all cotton so Cotton dumped me. And um The medicine is definitely wearing off. Sean Ray <laughs> Price. That's my girl there. Jeffrey like, out there. I yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it is getting kind of late. I usually take it around twelve. I gotta I gotta get get back. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> You're get in trouble. <laughs> All right. All right, you ready? You ready? Joan, look, thank you so much for joining me and Kimmy Cam. This this has uh thank been you. a wonderful uh interview. We're glad you were able to do this. Yeah. And we hope we'll be able to see you um perform. You gotta let me know where you're gonna be around town so we can so we can show up and come out there with our cameras. Well, I'm definitely gonna be at the uh I'm gonna be at the rally on October the seventh, the the million youth rally in D C. Oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, think my awesome. daughter, I, I gotta ask my daughter about that. I'm she jealous. Ready to go. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be there. So anything else pops up in between, I'm not too sure yet, but I know I'm definitely gonna be there. Are you performing? You performing? Yeah. Oh, you performing? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, there'll be too much people for me to bring my uh, cameras with me. I'm gonna have to bring my smaller stuff. But okay, well, make sure I f- make sure you inbox me so I can put that in my calendar. Make sure because I think my okay. daughter was trying to go to that. I haven't heard anything. From the uh, org- organizers yet, because she did put her information down. All right, well, Kimmy Kim, any final thoughts? Well, Jerry and uh, Sister Connor, I just want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity to fellowship with you and uh, give a shout out to uh, Jerry Royce from PositivePower21.org, Elation Magazine, and I just want to just let people know: don't give up on your dreams, no matter how hard it gets, because there is always a blessing. And depressing, so that is my Amen. end note on that. So I'm going to pass it back to you. Amen. Very thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Cammy Kim. All right. So, you want welcome. before you pray, you can give us your final thoughts and let people know where they can find your your music and where you're going to be in the next few uh, months, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um. Well, definitely. Like I said, um, on October the seventh, um, I'll be singing at the youth rally. Of course, uh, ministering to the youth is definitely one of my passions. You guys will see that I, I let a lot of you perform in some of my programs. Um, and just like I said, at this point right now, we're just working on finishing the project. Um, if you like what I do and you're interested, you can contact me on Facebook at J-A-W-A-N-A-H-C-O-N-N-O-R. Or you can just hit me up on my, my email at J-A-W-A-N-A-H-C-O-N-N-O-R at gmail.com. All right. Juana like Tawana, almost, right? Nah. Juana, yes, with a yeah. J. All right. Okay, we're we ready for you to pray for us. We All appreciate right. you. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for today, Lord God. I thank you, oh Father, that you protected us throughout the day, Lord. I thank you, oh God, for Kimmy Kim. Oh God, I ask you right now, oh Father, that you just touch her right now, oh Father, that you continue to touch her family, oh Father, that you continue to put a hedge of protection around her. And I pray, dear, dear God, that you would continue to prog- progress her, oh Father, continue to open up doors for her, oh God, continue to make ways, oh God. And I pray, oh Father, that you continue to give her the energy and the drive to do what you have gifted her to do. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for Brother Jerry Royce right now, God. I thank you for the doors and opportunities that you have given him, oh Father, so that he can give other artists, oh Father, opportunities. I thank you for him just being a voice, oh God, and him being so gracious and kind, oh Father, to support the up-and-coming artists, oh God. 
I pray that you continue to prosper him, oh, Father. I pray that you continue to grow his business, God. And I thank you right now for what you're doing for your people in this time, oh, Father. And I pray, oh, Father, that we would continue to have courage, continue to have passion to do what you have given us to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Appreciate that prayer. Awesome. All right, last question. Did you feel the power, Juana Connor? Did you feel the power? Yes, I did. Yes, she did. What about you, Kimmy Kim from Nation Radio and Magazine? I, you feel it? I felt the power. You did felt it. The power. <laughs> Woo. Yes, yes, yes. Praise God. Woo. All right, everybody. We appreciate you guys tuning in tonight on Monday. I know it's rough sometimes if you didn't get that nap. You know, you get 50, you got you got to get that nap in. That's right. Don't be playing around now. Get your nap. We'll be back on Wednesday and Thursday with Patrice Jackson and the Faith Walker, Joyce White. They'll be here with me. And you may hear from Daynette. Daynette might be back. Daynette Watson. Talk about her product. And also, James Deshaies. How to build wealth. So important. And we also will find out a little bit more about that book that's out. Frank Chase got a new book out. That's right. He's our sponsor yeah, this is this book is deep. So I'll have everything ready for you guys on Wednesday. All right. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a great Tuesday. We'll be off, but look out soon for our brand new show. There's going to be a 30 minute program right on the global media under Orlando Praise Orlando, and it's called Late Night with Jervis Live Radio and Television. That's right. Tune in with us. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'm out. Thank you. And yeah, I'm wow. in town. I listen to Jerry Rules Live, PositivePower21.org, where they play my favorite music. This is Brandon Royce, and you're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on PositivePower21.org. PositivePower21.org.
He pulled me up when I was down. Gave protection all around. That's why I'm on solid ground. To dance, to shout, to say it loud. I'm
country right in the middle of it. Changed my story right in the middle of it. You were there right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Control right in the middle of it. I flip my life right in the middle of it. Couldn't deliver right in the middle of it. Changed my heart right in the middle of it. Changed my mind right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me joy right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the middle of it. Giving me peace right in the middle of it. Giving me love right in the You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.
up, feeling up. And got this all spilling over. So, so much, much labor in my life. life. I thought I found a holy flow, but I was tipsy off the Holy Ghost. Tried to stay sober, then the fresh wind of God picked me up and blew me over. If it wasn't for his grace, I don't know where I would be. But I keep my face in the King James. Suffer bird, come and see me. Some of y'all want to be me, but I carry this cross. Lost my life once before, now I ain't taking no loss. And if the sky is the limit, then I'm finna take off. God is already spoken, I don't need a prayer cloth. So let the church say amen, praise God, hallelujah. If you want to catch the spirit, then this is how you do it. Just believe and have faith, it really ain't nothing to it. Believe and have faith, it really ain't nothing to it. I am who I am, I don't know who I would be. If it wasn't for the grace of God, I don't know where I would be. So we're headed for the tomb, then you probably are right. And no, I gotta keep the faith and thank God for his grace. Five loads, five fold, five stones, that's grace. Five pillars, five priests chilling in the holy place. I done fought the good fight, gotta finish this race. And no, I gotta keep the faith and thank God for his grace. inspiring and anointed ministry, Martha Munizzi is an internationally acclaimed singer, songwriter, speaker, and one of our nation's most popular worship leaders. Martha's musical journey began at the age of eight when she started singing with her family in concerts and crusades around the U.S. and Canada. As a teenager, Martha's vocal skills and songwriting ability became evident, and it soon became clear that God was birthing in her a desire to lead others into his presence. Martha sensed that that God was moving her into the next phase of ministry, and now the powerhouse vocalist leads thousands in worship at concerts, conferences, and churches around the world. Martha has also ministered with many powerful ministries, including Pastor Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar, Benny Hinn, Cece Winans, Bishop T.D. Jakes, and she has also appeared on TBN's Praise the Lord, Daystar, Live Today with James Robeson, and most recently on BET Gospel. With his soulful tenor vocal Vocals and ability to fuse contemporary gospel with hip hop and traditional, Smokey Norfolk is one of the brightest lights on the current gospel scene. The son of an African Methodist Episcopal minister, Smokey Norfolk spent his first 14 years in Muskogee, Oklahoma, where he absorbed music ranging from sacred gospel to the secular soul, and both would serve him well when he began his professional singing career. By the age of two, he was picking out melodies on the piano. By the age of four, he was active playing and singing in his father's church. He studied history at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. He 
then relocated to Chicago in 1998 and earned a Master's of Divinity degree at Garrett Theological Seminary. His debut solo album, I Need You Now, was released by Sherlock in 2002, followed by a live album called Limited Edition from EMI. In 2003, Norfolk has characterized his music as urban inspirational, a term that allows him to stretch the boundaries of traditional gospel while still remaining true to its purpose. Currently, he is the pastor of Victory Cathedral Worship Center of Bowling Brook, Illinois, since 2005. Then in 2008, he launched a second campus on the south side of Chicago. Since its launch, he has witnessed a similar dynamic growth and a phenomenal move of God. Dr. Maddie Moss Clark was a gospel choir director for most of her life and is often credited as one of the first to teach three-part harmony to a choir. Born in 1925 in Selma, Alabama, Clark relocated to Detroit in 1958. She organized the Southwest Michigan State Choir of the Church of God in Christ. In addition to being a songwriter, vocalist, pianist, arranger, and choir director, Clark was also president of the National Music Department of the Church of God in Christ for 25 years. She founded the Clark Conservatory School of Music in Detroit. Over the years, Clark recorded with such artists as James Moore, Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Elder James Lennox, Reverend Richard Mr. Clean White, and many more. She's also credited with launching the careers of Walter Hawkins, Hezekiah Walker, and Richard Smallwood. Clark recorded more than 35 albums during her career and was one of the first gospel artists to receive a gold-certified album. She passed at the age of 69 in Southfield, Michigan. People are always fascinated to learn what is taking place in churches around America. When visiting other churches and listening to the music as they worship together and wondering what do churches typically sing during their worship services. CCLI, the largest licensor of music for churches, has compiled a top 10 list of songs sang most in worship services across America. Number 10, In Christ Alone. Number 9, Jesus Messiah. Number 8, Amazing Grace. Number 7, Everlasting God. Number 6, Revelation Song. Number 5, Here I Am to Worship. Number 4, Blessed Be Your Name. Number 3, Our God. Number 2, Mighty to Serve. And the number one most sang song is How Great is Our God. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Gospel Songs in the Country. Number 10, Ty Tribbett, Work It Out. Number 9, Troy Sneed, Kept by His Grace. Number 8, Anthony Brown Group Therapy, Trust in You. Number 7, J.J. Harrison, Youthful Praise, You Deserve It. Number 6, Dietrich Haddon, Hill City Worship Camp, A Billion People. Number 5, Brian Poppin, I Got Out. Number 4, Kirk Franklin, My World Needs You. Number 3, Todd Delaney, Victory Belongs to Jesus. Number 2, Sean Mitchell, With Joy. And number one for five weeks in a row, Tamala Man with Change Me. That's your Billboard Top 10 songs, your top 10 most sang worship songs, and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. Mold me, 
Use me, Lord, for your awesome glory. Shape me, fill me, Lord, with your awesome presence. Shallow waters can never satisfy my thirst, Jesus. I want more of you. Shallow idols can never satisfy my hunger, Jesus. I need more of you, my praise, my worship, my adoration. I want to go deeper, my love, my joy, my reverence. I want to go deeper.
You're only defeated when you accept what the naysayers tell you without working on your flaws. Once your flaws are corrected, you must continue after your dreams. The greatness with us all will never come out in an unpressurized environment. What we seek in our dreams must be fought for in reality. Wealth Dad System provides the common individual with a way to burst from the norm into the unmeasurable. Call for more information at 407-459-4827. 407-459-4827. Visit a life-changing website at www.wealthdadsystem.com. Listening to Positive Power 21.org with Jerry Royce. Can you feel the power? Positive Power 21. He's been often imitated, never duplicated. Some call him the David Letterman of the late night, some call him the Arsenio Hall of Gospel. Feel the power. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of double XI. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power a double XI. Stand to be 
Why I'm on solid ground to dance to shout to say it loud. 